Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with Clueless. In the last episode, we uh, ended everything right here, where this, uh, I'm assuming, climactic battle is going to occur right at the very doorsteps of Varcheg. I'm going to be taking on two generals. Uh, I'm pretty confident I'm going to win this. I mean, out of all of them, almost 80 of them are recruits. And you guys know how squishy recruits are. So let's go ahead and fight it. Uh, if I can give my um, crossbowmen the opportunity to put in some work, I have a feeling these guys are going to break very, very quickly. So, And honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better map to do it. Boom! Let's have everybody line up. Forward! Are they going to make me come to them? No, they're going to come to me. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Actually, what am I doing? Let me get on my horse. It's my like my men did just fine. Some people holding out. Ooh, good shot. This is obviously a general. Look at you. Yeah, but not good enough, apparently. So. Kill as many of them as possible. You guys know the drill. Random historical fact, do you know that a lot of uh, casualties in battles occurred during this phase when everybody was running away and not in the actual battle? Well, now you know. Sweet. We lost 11. Yeah, infantry, I mean, I, I, I expected that to happen, I guess. I really need to get to that next clan tier already so I can have a larger army. Oh, perfect. And I think we're doing just fine now. Perfect. Ooh. That's a cool little helmet. That none of my people need. <laughs> I need to decrease the size of my shield, man. It's like in the way when I'm trying to 
gallop into battle. What do we got here? Well, none of those really matter to me, I guess. That was great. Feeling pretty good about our campaign right now. Let's go ahead and sell. How's our thief doing? Uh, 12. So I guess it changes every day. Yeah. Also, where is our homeboy at? I have no idea what's going on with the textures and stuff, guys. Really weird. Oh, he's right here. Yeah, we'll scoop him up. Perfect. Let's change the... Uh... Set the production. I heard that a brewery would be pretty good there, so let's try that. And I definitely need to recruit. Let's go back over here. Oh, I forgot to sell the loot. I'll do that too. Looks like that's what everybody's doing is picking up recruits. I'm picking up all the guys that are not just tier one first and then I'll come back and replenish the rest of the ranks with tier one. How far am I from the next clan tier? Oof. Still got a little bit of a ways to go. Oh, there's a nice little find right there. All the rest of my goods here. Whatever I had, let's see. Actually, this will work. I don't have to spend any money on that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm kind of thinking I might buy another workshop here. Let's, um, I could always change the production, so, and the prosperity is doing okay. All right, let's take a walk, walk around the town center. idea why it, it's so funky there was an update recently and I guess it was kind of messing everybody's games up I was reading on uh, 
hunting forums and stuff like that. Everybody's pissed. <laughs> So if you're new to the game, if you ever want to walk around a city, you can actually ride these horses out here. That'll help you get to where you need to get to faster. Go! Let's go pick up that wine press. Also, another cool thing is the back street. Uh, which I think I have to go over here to reach it. Again, if you're new, hold alt and you can see all of these things. Uh, no, I think the back street is back this way. This guy can run, man. Jeez, keep it up with the horse. guys and potentially win something. Now you're going to get negative relation with uh, one of the gang leaders here, but you normally win something like some jewelry or whatever. Stay and see what happens. I think some more come back. Let me save this. You like get positive relation with people here, but you get negative relation with like the gang leader. Here it is. But I think like some of your men join you. It's been a while since I did any like of these missions. But I think my men join me fighting them in like a street battle basically. And I'm gonna fight the actual gang leader, I think. I'm really sorry for the lag. Yeah, there you go. I got, yeah, let's fight. Sure. Let's do it. It can't possibly be threat. 73 of my men versus seven. That can't be right. I think I have like six or seven guys myself. It's like, should be a fair, like, yeah, like an even fight. Well, almost even. Let's go. Oh, come on. This freaking lag got me through. This See, look at this. I got an awesome bit of steel. I mean, kind of crap armor. Yeah, this was worth my time. 
So now I will sell that stuff. See, yeah, and your relation increases with everybody else, basically. I don't need that. That steel, though, look at that. That's awesome. Cool. Please don't give me that castle. We abstain. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, okay. The amount of times that a thief has changed hands has just been ridiculous. Yeah, of course it's under attack. Of course. Of course it is. Let's head back over here and pick up my guy. Well, hopefully, I mean, I make some cash. Let's see, if I go to Thieves, yeah. Like, it's contributing right now, so. The Brewer. There you go, got a nice little passive income coming in. How many uh, can I have? I don't know, Thieves. I think... I think I can have three at this current stage. Could be wrong. Yeah, just take it already, dude. Just take it. Wait, what was that? Did you guys see that? Well, I think it was a smaller, like one of the minor factions. It looked like he only had 44 troops, but he disappeared, so. Yeah, they retook it. Landia can't hold on to anything this game. My god, the amount of times it's like changed hands. more fighters I need I need like people who can hang man that contribute <sighs> okay well I definitely need to get into the fight or at least uh, attack and capture. Can I can I attack this guy? How many armed traders does he have? I mean, yeah, if I can get myself a little. Oh no, he's way faster than me. It'll be a waste. I'll trail him. Because there's obviously another army in the area. Oh, he's going to go to this other castle. It's like they're stuck on a loop. They keep doing that. Taking this castle, then they lose it. Then they're like, okay, let's go a little past it. Take this other castle we don't need. But I'll stick around in the neighborhood because I feel like a good fight will come out of it. He's the one I was waiting for.
Oh, sorry, I didn't even realize it loaded. All right. This should be pretty easy, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say it looked like for a second there the odds were against me. Assist. He's gonna take a third crossbow. No, he's not gonna make it. Stop! Let's do it. a sharpshooter what yes well that's a pretty good bit of armor That was good. That's exactly what we needed. Now what about this guy? Definitely not trying to get my behind handed to me, so let's swing back around. But he headed south, and I want to get down there to sell. Alright, let's go back up since he went back down. Oh, two armies hanging out over here. Look at that. Two useless armies. What's the Sturgia at war with? Oh, just us. Just kidding. So... Oh, hold on to those bots. It's perfect. Another three grand. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, you know what? I think this is a good place to call it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button uh, for more content. I think on the next one, I'm going to go ahead and uh, meet up with those two armies that are besieging like those two castles. Because every time, I think out of the six or seven times that this thing has exchanged hands, 
I've missed some of those clim climactic battles and I'm close enough now where I can get a piece of the action. So that's what I plan to do. Uh, thanks so much guys and I'll catch you on the next one.